Hello, brothers and sisters of our Lord Jesus Christ. Roland Dell here again. Chaplain Dell. Um, Brother Dell, whatever you want to call me. Bishop. Priest. All these, you know, all these uh, terms are really biblical terms for following the Lord. And, of course, man, we really think about it, where honest gets in there and uh, applies them through his sy system to who he wants them to be applied to. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, find it, I find it rather hu um, humorous the more that I grow into my Lord because the more that I see that um, the world is truly of our father, the devil, and um, it is given unto him. And uh, the people uh, that God calls out of the world toward salvation are truly given to him. And there's a big contrast, there's a big war for men's souls uh, in this particular area. Now, I've done a half a dozen videos, and every one of them tonight are really, really jamming up. And I've, pr I've just prayed again over this computer because I want to expound the truths of God to people, the deeper truths of God that I've been coming into lately. But I'm finding it very difficult. And tonight, I've, I wanted to talk about soldiering. I wanted to talk about the spiritual war that we're in. And this is one of the reasons that um, this this is happening tonight because uh, you know you may you may think me daft, you may think me off my nut uh, because uh, it's simply because a tape jams up or uh, slurred or whatever to you know to equate that with spiritual warfare, uh, and that's fine. Yeah, yeah, from from the way that you see things from the natural standpoint, that's absolutely great. That's absolutely crazy talk. But from a supernatural standpoint, from a Christian standpoint, for somebody who follows the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm here to tell you that everything in this world competes with following after the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. And the biggest thing that our enemy uses is decoys. How do you want to, if you're in a war, how do you want to fool your enemy? You want to make something that looks like the real thing. And I got to give the angel of light Satan credit, and I won't use his name, but um, because he's a smart dude, he really is. He's a very cunning enemy, and most people say, "Oh well, don't talk about the, don't talk about the devil." Also, that makes me uncomfortable. But you know what? That's what we're really in. We do fight against principalities and powers of air and unseen things that we don't see, and you know, theologians understand this, understand that's, a, that, that, that's in the Bible. But what I'm finding out is, unless you're a true disciple of Lord Jesus Christ, you won't see it. You can't see it because you're unregenerate, because you don't have spiritual eyes to see. Only a true follower of the Lord, only somebody. And let, let me just say now, I'm not talking about babes in Christ who haven't seen, you know, that don't haven't developed the eyes to see and the ears to hear. But I'm talking about people that claim to be, claim the name of Christ, and have never seen any of these um, uh, counterfeits. And to go, so to get back what I was saying, uh, well, let me just interject this: when they train, a, when the federal government trains counterfeiter, they always teach them to study the real thing, know what the real thing looks like, know how it feels, know how it smells. You know, that's how they treat counterfeiters to. Uh, to spot um, things that are, aren't truth, um, and that's that's what us Christians are supposed to be able to discern. Our true followers of Christ are supposed to be able to discern the counterfeits from the truth. Another analogy that I started to use was decoys. You know, they had blow up decoys in the Second World War. They had blow up tanks. They had blow up cannons, they had blow up army truck, all kinds of different types of armament. And they had uh they were decoys. So from the air, the enemy would say and say, hey, there's the American troops or there's the British troops or whatever. Let's let's bomb them. Let's concentrate our forces on them to destroy them. Alright? It's a decoy. It's it's a diversion from the truth. And this is what Satan does. Dear friends, dear brothers and sisters of our Lord. And no offense to the clergy out there that have studied for years, and I'm sure 
have built their lives in their certain denominations or, or whatever. But if you're honest with yourself and you believe that there's a spiritual war going on, you know, in fact, that there are decoys. And decoys always resemble very closely the truth. And a decoy for a Christian, because what a Christian is, is somebody who knows, follows, hears, and listens to in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. So what detracts from that? I say to you that religion detracts from that. I say to you that institutionalized church, man-made seminaries, man-made institutions detract from that. That's, that's the only way I know how to say it. And what I'm finding is, the more that I discover this, the more that I'm attacked. The, the, the more hell and creation uh, uh, comes against me, because everything in the world will be thrown against you if you're truly following the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I'm finding. Jesus said, I came to bring a sword to divide mother, father, sister, brother, husband from wife. He asked Peter, he says, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, of course I love you. And he kept asking Peter, Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? And Jesus also says, in contrast, if you don't hate your mother, father, sister, brother, in contrast to following him, that um, you can't be his disciple. In other words, next to Christ, not that you're a hate anybody. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. All right, babes in our Lord. But this is for this is for mature Christians tonight. That you cannot be my disciple. Uh, the whole Bible speaks about the spiritual nature of following Jesus Christ. And Matthew eight, um, it, it talks about the scribe, the theologian, if you will, that says, teacher. I want to follow you. And Jesus told them the birds have their nests, the birds of the air have their nests, the foxes have their holes in the ground, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And later on, his disciples said, Lord, let me go home and, uh, and collect, collect my inheritance, and then I can follow you. And what Jesus was saying in both of those cases is put aside that stuff and follow me like you are, because everything in the world will compete for your heart and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. If there's anything, any snare, any trick, anything in the world that stands before Jesus Christ as your God, all right, that Lord, like God's a jealous God, you have no God before me, then get rid of it. Get rid of it. And this is why Jesus spoke so, so hardly to the, uh, harshly to the rich young ruler. But, as you know, it's not that you have to get rid of everything, give all your money away to the poor, and all, you know, a lot of cults are based in that, but it's, it's, it's what you hold near and dear. It's a matter of heart. If you hold the Lord Jesus Christ near and dear to you and you follow him and these other things don't get in the way, well, then you're fine. You're fine, okay? But the problem is, is these counterfeits, these, um, these decoys, these things that look like the real thing but that are not. And that's because Satan, our enemy, is very, very cunning and very, very smart. And I have found that I've been in the church system for a long time. And I have found that uh, all the church systems I've been in, the pastor even asked, has anybody uh, uh, seen demons? Has anybody had healings? Has anybody ever seen any of these things? And you know, not one soul raised their hand. I could have. Okay, and I'm not trying to be spiritually proud. But the reason why is because I know the Lord spiritually I hear his voice he has preordained my steps I am in the warfare because I belong to him you know if you're not spiritual you're not in the war you can't even see the war you can't even acknowledge the war I tell you that the harder I push after the Lord the harder the harder situations in my life become the harder it is with my family the harder it is with my wife it's because Satan is sifting me to see if I will put the Lord in my heart first and nobody can experience this unless they're of the Lord, unless they're a believer. And you can't even express that. It's very difficult to express that to other people. And that's why a true fellowship of believers is only for believers. It's not systematic theology. It's not church. It's not big congregations. Oh, look how many people my church has. It's none of that at all. It's people that know and follow and hear the Lord Jesus Christ. And it has nothing to do with 
their education and their stature or their money or anything else in the world. And this is what I'm learning. The harder I follow after my Lord, the more the world rejects me. So be advised, dear friends, this is a war we're in. And we have to follow the Lord as good soldiers for Christ, the prize before us. And we should not follow men. If you're following men, or, uh, you know, and I, and I said in one of my earlier videos, you know, I actually feel sorry for these people that are pastors that have set themselves up as spiritual leaders of the church. Because if they're not, if they're not expanding the truths of God, pointing the way to sheep, the true sheep, okay, then people are going to mistake them for being Jesus Christ. And only a fool, only a fool would want to play God, bridal pride at best. And I see I see that my video skipped up again, so I'm gonna um, sit here and cancel this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up this video, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna repeat again that only a fool would want to play Christ. Alright. Um, an elder, deacons, elders, pastors, there are people that have walked the walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, I had the spiritual experience to explain to others what it is to truly follow Christ, what it is to have Satan come against you, what it is to have your family come against you, what it is to be hated by the world. These are true ministers of the gospel, not some guy that, uh, you know, uh, went through the systematic uh, theology, the world system, Bible college, or, or even uh, seminary, there's nothing, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with studying your Bible. But the things of God are spiritual in nature, and the callings of God are spiritual in nature. And um, you can't make that happen. Only God makes that happen in a man's life. Okay? Only God calls a man to truly be his disciple, to truly listen and, and have a, a working in him. And no man-made institution can do that. And, and this is... Uh, this is what I'm finding. This is what I'm learning. And uh, so this is, you know, it takes courage to follow after the Lord. This is no gain. It's are you willing to sacrifice the Lord Jesus Christ as he leads and shows you to follow him within you. All right, I'm locking up again. Bye.